Right, so some of the plastics on the bike we've cleaned up nicely. You'll either see that before this or after that. These are all the scabby uh, steel bits, which were probably, well, this was painted, for instance, since this was too, a couple of bits would have been zinc plated. Yeah, that, that doesn't exist anymore. So we're going to clean it all up. The motor here, we'll probably just give this a little bit of a rub rub, polish polish. The rest of the bits, we'll wire wheel them down and then give them a coat of tss, tss, brand new paint. Uh, we've had to, this is the back of the fan uh, support, we've had to drill out the two M5s out of three because one sheared off and the other one rounded off. So then we've retapped with M5s and we've got some M5 stainless spots which we'll replace them with. So this needs cleaning up like new and get all these bolts that are like absolute crummy. So, remove the crumminess, add the shine, like new. done is rubbed everything down as you just saw. Uh, we also looked up some um, diagrams because a couple of brackets kind of twisted as they come off because they're all a bit seized up. Um, no much point running dies through the threads. We've cleaned these bolts up. We're going to paint it all now. We've given it a good treatment of corrust because all those rubbed down, there's bits of rust that you can kind of convert back basically. It's like a converter. Uh, so that gives it a treatment. None of this is really going to be seen but It'll give it a little more life, I think, and if you do poke your nose in there, then it'll look nice. So, uh, that's going to be silver, that, because that was silver originally. The rest is going to be black, other than the bolts, I'm going to paint them. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that, really. Looking shiny, shiny, bits of metal, clean bottle, sort of. So, that's all the paint finished. I do like the paint finish of the hammered, it's like a metallic black, lovely speckle, uh, all clean bits as well. So we're going to put these together, we're going to just run some taps through the threads. Uh, one tap I don't have, which is the M, I think it's an M8 fine thread, I've only got the coarse thread, so we'll just gently work that through. Bit of copper slip, put together what we can here, take the rest over to the bike and dry fit some parts, um, particularly the radiator, and we need to get another actual part off and repair that, I'll show that in a bit. So let's just get this repaired up. Uh, again, real nice finish, other than right there, where a bug got in it, which is annoying, but it sits behind the headers, so you don't really notice it. It's just more peace of mind to stop it rusting. Anyway, stop faffing, get on. Alrighty then. So this is what you just saw, sort of being painted and threads were checked, and we just, you know, cleaned out all the threads nice. Uh, bottles all ready to go on, we cleaned some pipe work. Uh, if you can see, uh, they're nice little stainless. M5 bolts, which we cut to size, a bit of uh, grease on them, and hopefully if they ever need to come off again, they won't shear or break or snap or everything else in the above. So, I'm going to sort of dry mount these, dry mount these, dry run, uh, just see how everything fits together, and all the rusty bolts, I'm going to sort of work out how many I need and what sizes, and we're going to order some nice fresh ones, because, well, they're manky, to be, to be honest with you. They're absolutely... Disgusting. So that's what I've managed to bodge. I'm really not very good at TIG welding um, at all, um, but particularly alloy. It's sort of um, a weird foreign magic to me, and I'm not quite got it yet. But it is solid, strong, and sealed. We need to put a couple of lips on either end of here, but essentially it's there. Now, the next thing. Other than the radiator being wrong, so I'm gonna have to. Well, I've sent the old one back and got a new one on order from the Czech Republic or something. It seemed really hard to come by, harder than I expected anyway. Uh, it's this here, which is uh, I don't believe it's a thermostat housing, that's on the other side, but uh, it has got many pittings and holes in it, so we're gonna try and repair that because. That one, like this pipe and like this pipe, they all seem 40 quid a pipe. I've also got another one of these on the way because it is quite badly rusted away. 
and it's an oil pipe that and um, I don't really want that to go uh, now as far as I can see again they're 40 quid uh, I don't want to just crust it and paint it but I have found a mint second hand one from an R6 which I believe they're almost identical so that was 17 quid so I've ordered that and no doubt that was a waste of money but hopefully it's not so let's just whip this off and then we're going to clean it up and then I'm going to use a bit of Q-Bond to repair it right so I presume this is going to just snap off now because that is too tight to be coming undone yep fantastic Thank you. So that smashed my thumb. This bike, I hate this bike. Just in cars, if you've watched this channel before, it's Peugeot's. So I'm used to this stuff on Peugeot's. I'm not saying they're unreliable, it's just they're old cars and they do 200,000 miles before you get a bolt off. This is 12 years old, 20,000 miles, and the bolts are just shearing, pipes are corrupt. I mean, who would put a steel pipe there? What moron? thinks, you know what, just behind where the front wheel flicks all the salt and the dirt and the stone, I'll put a main oil feed pipe and I'll make it steel with no protection whatsoever. That is it's pretty idiotic, I have got to admit. I mean, it's right up there with being stupid. <sighs> I hate this bike at the moment, I've got to admit. Everything I touch snaps, breaks, or is rusted away. I'm breaking it in a good way. Oh. Because I don't know any other way of repairing those two bolts now. Great. Oh, well, that looks like in healthy condition, doesn't it? Not. Well, right, let's clean it off. So that's it all cleaned up now. And you see all the pitting on it. Uh, it's possible that it's had some non-aluminium happy or, or uh, cooling in it basically, not suitable for aluminium. I just hope the block's okay. Um, just lots sat around the edge of that pipe. The inside seems okay. But anyway, we'll go to a little time lapse and I'm going to just fill in all these little bits with powder and glue basically, which will go as hard as the metal and then we can just grind it back to smooth and it won't be like new, but it won't be far off once I've finished. So let's get on with that. Another news. Yes, those studs are in, and they're in good. And they're broken. You have those moments. I'll get through them. It'll be okay. I just would like to be beyond the taking apart and start putting together at some point. That would be nice. That would be very nice. <laughs> We removed the studs that had snapped off. Uh, it took some serious mole grip action, vice grips, depending on where you're from. Cleaned up the surface with some wet and dry. Doesn't look great, but looks clean to me. And then the uh, alloy pipe connector flange. Uh, we just filled it in with a little bit of the old uh, Q bond. Had some big dips in it. Give it a cut paint. Should do another 25,000 miles. And as they're 40 quid a piece, we'll, um, yeah, we'll be happy with that. The seal on the back though was all nasty. It was really nasty. Um, so, £4.50 gets you this in the Yamaha world. That tiny little o-ring. Now, I could have probably got an o-ring out of my bag and my box of o-rings, but if this doesn't work, I will. £4.50. So this should, all being well, fit in that little gap, like so. I would almost stretch it. I want to sit in there nice. There we go. Lovely. And then I'll show you the block. The block. I show you the block. So we've got our studs in place. These are stainless uh, M6s, just M6 by 1.0. We actually had to run a tap into the holes as well. They were really 
not in a good place. A phalange coming in place. Just get the one started. The things I do to get the right shot for you. I don't even know yet if I'm going to use this footage. I haven't decided whether to reveal this to you. I'm, you're probably going to see this maybe a year, maybe more, after I've shot it, got other projects going on. And... Anyway, that's the story about me. It's Saturday night in the cold. <laughs> Trying not to snap off. <laughs> Pull the threads out. Right, I'm happy with how sufficiently tight that is. We need to weld on some edge ends on that. And then the pipe work can go together. We also have a new one of uh, those. Uh, which, if we get it in focus, uh, oil runs, so I'll probably do that next. Then weld this up on a slightly warmer day. And then we can get all the pipe work back together after giving the uh, headers a bit of a polish. So boring that I won't show you. Anyway, for now, all good. So I'm guessing it's time to try again. Oh, you know, that is, that is a philosophy on the channel. If you break it and break it again, then try and try again. So we've got our replacement pipe that I've made. Um, I mean, I'm not amazing at this sort of stuff, but I gave it a good go. And then we tape the ends off and give a couple of layers of stone chip because it's gonna be right at the front of the bike down there. So it's only going to get abused again. The old one was decidedly worn. Uh, we've got a few bits that are relevant. We're going to tidy up. We're going to get the other one off the radiator at some point, clean up and paint them. Um, maybe. Bolts, which I have no idea where they go. So that's good. Um, it's been two months, I think, since I took it all apart. So ideal. Coolant. My plan today is get the coolant in the bike and get it running. That's my plan today. That's what I really like to do. So I've got the bits, got a bunch of tools from the old, the other shed, got some new stainless um, hose clamps, got the new radiator, finally came, which I think I just showed you in another possible video. That's a phone on top of it. So radiator on, pipe work on, see if I've got all the bolts. If I haven't, got a portray of bolts there, new ones, stainless ones, etc. We might have to cut to size, etc. Now let's see what we can do, shall we? So naturally we had an immediate setback where this pipe here, this new oil pipe, was actually leaking. So we just popped it out. The O-rings are fine, but there was some grot in there. So we really gave it a good clean out and got that sorted. Uh, now you can see our new pipe, the one I made in place as well, uh, which is cool. And all the pipe work, uh, nice new stainless Jubilees that go with them. Uh, they're not industrial size, they they're not actually they're very tight, the originals, but they were certainly rusted. So that's no good. So everything's looking very, very shiny right now, which is a bit of a worry, if I'm honest. Shiny things don't last very long around me. Um, but everything's looking pretty tidy, pretty happy with it. All the pipes go back where they were meant to go. Uh, it's been a while since I've had it together. 
So the next thing is, uh, I'm going to tidy these up for aesthetic reasons. There's one on there, I'm going to have to drill that one off. And there's a plastic cover that will go on, because it will protect the front of that radiator. And then fill it up and see where it leaks, which is probably everywhere. Uh, no, uh, hopefully it won't leak too much, but we need to top it up, that's for sure. Um, so let's, yeah, I'm just looking at how broken this fairing is, which is going to be refixed, obviously, very soon. Or soon, not very soon. So we need to get all this together. Hmm. It is a worry how much of a mess that all is. Um, yeah. I hope I can remember where it all goes. We will soon find out. That is not where Spotbug goes.